So now at this point, I think it's time to uh, an appropriate time to start thinking talking about mass symbols and equations because uh, if you're interested in law tech, there's a good you know chance that either you're either you're doing math or you're doing uh, some sort of science that involves math like economics or physics or uh, engineering. And so I, I wouldn't want to leave you out and, uh, you know, you may be saying, well, why do I have to wait all, all the way till now to get to, to learn about math symbols? So let's talk about math symbols. So math symbols are very easy uh, in LaTeX. So I think I showed you before with the bullet, right? Bullet is technically a math symbol. Okay. You put it between two dollar signs to make, uh, uh, to, so that it's in what's called math mode and you get a bullet. For more math symbols, there are plenty of uh, websites. So math symbols, LaTeX. There are plenty of PDFs and you know, just uh, websites dedicated to letting you know what is the command for for all of the math symbols. I mean, there's there's thousands of them. Um, you know, when I say math symbol, I just mean symbol, I guess. Okay, so symbols that are used within math mode. So so for example, if we want to start doing Greek letters. Alpha, beta, gamma, we can do capital gamma, okay? So, you know, you have something like this, okay, that gives us alpha, beta, gamma. Uh, moreover, we could put them all together within one dollar sign bracket, with, within one set of dollar signs. So for each symbol, you don't have to put uh, alpha, beta, gamma. The issue is, once you're in math mode, if you start to write text, Uh, it's not going to come out nicely. Okay, so this is what text looks like in math mode. Okay, yet you can write, you know, alpha, beta, gamma, you know, gamma plus uh, zeta squared. Okay, I'll explain that in a second. Okay, you see how it comes out very smoothly, uh, it, everything within math mode, but the, the text does not come out nicely in the math mode. Okay, so um, if you, you'll we'll see, you know, sometimes you may want to write equations and, and write some text within the math equation. Uh, so there are certain, there's a, a command for that called mbox, which means math box, I guess. Uh, and that allows it to come out naturally. Of course, you know, if you're just writing some text, uh, you should never put it like this, but maybe you want to put, you know, um, if alpha equals theta, then dot dot dot. And we're getting closer, so we need a space here. So, and space here. Whereas the space is in. The spaces in, in mbox matter, but the spaces outside of mbox in the math mode don't matter. You can put as much space as you want between these things, and it's, it's, it's not going to give you any space at all. Okay? If you want an actual space between the comma and gamma here, uh, one easy trick is this gives you a, minor, a very small space. Okay? So if you put a few, it'll give you a bigger space, but this gives you one space. You'll see how it moves over just a little bit. Okay, it's uh, backslash semicolon. If you want a specified amount of space, you can do um, each skip. Say I wanted to skip over, move over five centimeters. Okay, it moves over five centimeters. Okay, so here's our symbols. Uh, you know, most commonly used things are, are you know, uh, superscript and subscript. Okay, so like we have here. Zeta squared plus um, uh, P sub K. Okay. So the superscript subscript commands are pretty intuitive. So you put a hat, and then that sort of represents the command. It's going to put a superscript on whatever comes before. Okay, and then within the brackets, you you know, the superscript obviously requires an input, and so here we're inputting two. 
And the subscript is just the, uh, I'm not sure what this is called, lower, you know, under underscore, uh, and then we input k between the curly brackets, okay? So, the, you know, the symbols, I mean, uh, pretty much you just want to go, go ahead and, you know, look them up. Uh, a lot of them are, you know, intuitive, like, you know, subset a subset b. So, again, look, if I, if I don't put this in dollar signs, uh, because subset is a command only viable, only you're only able to use it in math mode, and you're not going to be able to compile, so you have to make sure to have the dollar signs. Okay, so uh, most of the commands are, are intuitive, and the ones that aren't are very easy to look up. It's very easy to find uh, online. Now, let's say I want an equation. Okay, an equation is essentially, a, a, you know, just a string of, uh, you know, math symbols, but maybe I want, you know, something centered, uh, let's say, um, for example, if I want to take a sum, so backslash sum is going to give you the summation sign. Uh, see, I forgot the extra dollar sign over here, so that's why it gave me an error. So sum i equals 1 to n, let's move this over, uh, let's do sum Put a little space here, sum i equals 1 to n i. Okay, so uh, on, on, a, on a single line, you know, you know, let's say I'm writing this within the text, let us consider the summation, sum i equals 1 to n i, okay, we know that this is equal to, okay, here we can do another one, fraction, okay, so if I want to make a fraction, you know, a over b, uh, I, I, I put the command backslash frag, and then a goes, whatever, in the first set of curly brackets, you have the numerator, in the second set, you have the denominator. So I want to make a, a divided by b, I get this, okay? Uh, this is something like n times m plus 1 over 2. So, there we go. But, if instead, I want this to be centered. There's a benefit to doing that. So if here, what I'm doing is I'm putting two dollar signs, and then whatever whatever I want, whatever the equation is, and two more dollar signs. And what this is going to give me is a much nicer layout. Okay, so so it's centered. It's going to be on the next line. Okay, even even if the dollar signs start up here, it's going to be on the next line. It's going to be centered, and things like summation work much more nicely. Okay, before we notice that if we put this on the line, there's no room for i equals 1 to n to go below and above, but here it does, okay? So it looks much much nicer, it's much cleaner, okay? Now, let's suppose uh, I want to label this equation, okay? So there are many ways to do the same thing, but we can create an equation environment Okay, and put this inside the equation environment, and it's very, it's going to be very, so it's very similar to what's going on here, except now I have a label. So, So copy and paste is always your friend. It will always make your life easier. Rather than writing this all over again, just copy and paste. Okay, as in equation one. So depends on whether you want to label. Some equations you want to label, some you don't. Okay, so this is our basic introduction to math symbols and equations. These are the easiest things to find information about because these are sort of the things you have questions about.